What's up, YouTube? Here we are for another video. Uh, this video is going to be a little different. Ain't going to be doing no 270 mile loop, but uh, this video is going to be good. I'm in a place called Elkhorn City. It's about 30 minutes from my house in Pikeville. But uh, of all the places I've ridden, Elkhorn's got some of the best riding and they do have the best view I've ever seen since I've been riding. But uh, you guys stay tuned. We'll try to get you some good footage.
right there, fellas. Thing, but uh, what's unique about this is, is this this wild marble rock right here I mean I don't know I hope you guys can see it and then down here which I'll take you guys down there you, there's a little trail over here I'm gonna head down there but you can look over that edge but man I mean look at this guys our heavenly father on earth is the best artist there is and i mean look at this creation this is beautiful Look at this, guys. This is beach sand in eastern Kentucky. Kind of makes you think that flood really happened that we talk about. And the flood of Noah is what I'm referring to. But yeah, look at this, guys. Wow. Whew. I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared of heights. So uh, let's just uh, let's just take it easy and get over here. But guys, all you all ride the Hatfield McCoy Outlaw Trails, you definitely need to make the trip to Elkhorn. I, I'm still learning this area, but it is awesome. But uh, I got a map of it on my ride command. Anybody interested that rides the Outlaws on the Hatfield McCoy, you can, if this is kind of where I started my loop, one of the loops I've done, but uh, you can probably get here from... Uh, let's see probably gilbert let's see no the devil's ants one but uh you can probably get here in four hours which that's a long ride i know but uh yeah about four hours of trails and you guys could get here but uh yeah sorry for the long video i wanted to get you a shot of this but uh we'll catch you on the next clip Guys, I figured I'd give you a quick shot here. Uh, I come up this way, that's the ledge. But the first rough hill I come up, there's a split. You can also go this way. It's quite a bit easier for those of you that would like to come check it out, but don't necessarily like to, you know, slam ledges. Now this right here is a little off-camber section. You gotta kinda get on the gas a little bit. And this is the first 
part I said that was real tough. It, guys, these are pretty good legs. A buddy of mine asked me if uh, he can crawl it. Better be able to crawl up a ledge. <laughs> getting steeper every time we come up here but yeah guys that's pretty well it for silica rock i may try to get you some shots of the uh, full point bridge we call it around here but uh just stay tuned for the next clip